Right, so OpenAI just hit 700 million weekly users for ChatGPT. But while impressive, that number means absolutely nothing if AI can't fix its most glaring problem. And that is that it's kind of like a Swiss Army knife that most people don't really know how to use. You see, everybody's fighting to be the AI tool of choice, throwing money at the problem like confetti at a particularly expensive wedding. OpenAI raised $8.3 billion at a $300 billion valuation. Anthropics reportedly chasing $3 to $5 billion at a $170 billion valuation. And Perplexity is sitting pretty at $18 billion. These numbers are so ridiculous that they've stopped meaning anything. It's kind of like monopoly money for tech bros who've forgotten what actual human problems look like. But here's where it gets properly crazy because the quality of the technology is really only part of what matters. These AI tools are kind of like having a brilliant conversation with Stephen Hawking, except that Stephen only speaks in riddles and you need to know exactly the right questions to ask or he just kind of stares at you blankly. You see, the real issue is that AI is, as I mentioned, kind of like a Swiss Army knife. It's only genuinely useful if you really know how to use it properly. Remember Zapier? Brilliant automation platform, especially revolutionary for connecting different software tools together. But it only really works if you've got the imagination to envisage an automation and the technical chops to actually go and build it. Most people look at Zapier the same way that medieval peasants probably looked at pocket watches. They're impressive, clearly magical, but completely useless in their daily lives. So what's hugely lacking is any real effort to help normal people, not the tech bros, integrate AI into their actual lives in meaningful ways. Where are the communities of Anthropic users sharing genuinely useful Claude workflows? Where are the OpenAI evangelists demonstrating how ChatGPT can solve real-world problems that don't involve writing poetry about your feelings? AI is absolutely one of those technologies where show and tell dramatically increases your likelihood of actually getting value from it. When you see someone use Claude to analyze a 150-page legal document in minutes or watch ChatGPT help someone build a functioning web application from scratch, something clicks in your brain. You start seeing possibilities instead of just parlor tricks. But the AI companies are completely failing to lean into this. They're so obsessed with cramming more parameters into their models and winning benchmark competitions that they seem to have forgotten about the humans who are supposed to benefit from all of this computational wizardry. OpenAI, for example, has 92% of Fortune 500 companies using ChatGPT, which sounds super impressive until you realize that most of them are probably just using it to generate slightly more creative PowerPoint presentations. That's not transformation. That's just expensive procrastination with a technological veneer. The real opportunity here isn't building better AI models, although obviously that does matter. It's really about building communities of practice around AI integration. Imagine if Anthropic created a program where Claude Power users could earn credits for sharing genuinely useful workflows. Picture OpenAI building a platform where ChatGPT enthusiasts could showcase real problem-solving applications that go beyond help me write a professional email that doesn't sound like I want to murder my colleague. This show-and-tell approach works because AI adoption follows the same pattern as learning to cook or play the guitar. You don't get better by reading manuals. You get better by watching somebody who actually knows what they're doing and then trying to copy them. Except right now, there's no mechanism to connect the people who've figured out genuinely transformative AI workflows with the millions of users who are still asking ChatGPT to explain the plot of Hamlet. The companies that figure this out first won't just win market share. They'll create genuine user advocacy that makes traditional marketing look like cave paintings. When someone discovers that Claude can help them automatically analyze customer feedback patterns or that ChatGPT can generate functional SQL queries from plain English descriptions, they become evangelical about the technology in ways that no advertising campaign could ever achieve. Instead, we've got this bizarre situation where the most sophisticated AI tools in human history are being used primarily for tasks that could be accomplished with a decent word processor and a bit of common sense. It's like having access to the Library of Alexandra and then using it exclusively to look up what rhymes with the word orange. The 700 million ChatGPT users represent incredible potential. But potential energy only becomes useful when it's converted into kinetic energy. And right now, most of that potential is just kind of sitting there, waiting for someone to build the bridge between AI can do amazing things and here's exactly how AI can solve your specific Tuesday afternoon problem. The company that cracks this code won't just win the AI wars. They'll actually justify all those insane valuations by creating genuine human value that can impact millions and millions of people.